good day. So I decided to take an artificial insemination class. So I left the ranch in Hillsboro and traveled up to Arkansas so that I can learn how to artificially inseminate my cows. In the class, I'll learn about the anatomy of a cow. I'll learn how to handle a bull semen and how to artificially inseminate those cows. And so it's important to me because by bringing in genetics from a, a bull outside of my herd, other than De Niro, I get the opportunity to grow or enhance the genetics of my program by using bulls that's superior to the bull that I have um, on my ranch. And so here are a set of cows that we're gonna practice on, but before we get to artificial inseminating the cows, I'll have to get back in the class and learn how to handle a semen straw, get it in and out of the liquid nitrogen tank, load it into a semen gun, and then of course, artificial inseminate the cows. So you told me to canister five. That's three. Um, I am an Aggie, so numbers are sometimes off for me. All right. Let's see. So you say come up. So picture right now, the cup is always on the same side as the handle. It's pointing. There you go. So you almost have to work it back yeah. to where the stem. There we go. No. That needs and to stay. And that tank is a little difficult to work out. All right. So now, which one we want? Uh, get the, is there a yellow one in there? There's a yellow one. Get, get that one. So you told me to. with my hand. There's nothing in the top. So slide it up a little bit further where you can get to the bottom. There we go. All right, drop okay. that cane down in there. There you go. Now put the semen in. That Let that go. Just put the semen in. Shake it. A little bit. You're good. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> Check me does, out. Next person that does it, when they go drop it in there and they do your facial expressions, I'm going to Did I look kind of wet? You were like, yeah. <laughs> it was all right. cool. It's all good. Um, so now we'll let that sit for 45 seconds. Yes. And then here's a. Here's a and we got my knife. I'll put pay the, my time. Put that underneath your arm. Here. The nope. end of it. The end of it, you want this way? Yes. That Try way, because that's the end that's going to go with the straw seeds. Gotcha. They're letting it stick out there. Come on. Okay, right there. Yeah. there gotcha. I'm going to pull this back just a smidge. So then I go here. There you go. I'm reading. That's the top hand. That's the sis, top hand. All right. You're good. I'm cutting this in. That's right. About three quarter. No, a quarter, quarter. of an inch. Right there. Yeah, you're good. You could have cut just a little, a little bit, bit more. more, or is that, it that's fine? That's fine. That's fine. So now I'm going here. Mm -hmm. Other end. Other one. Turn the straw. Right. The semen's got to come out, you know. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> there we go. Like so. There you go. And now I need here. this one. Here is a sheath. It's going this Other way. End. You had a wrap. Like so. No, you're gonna have to apply. There you go. So when it get when you have to apply pressure to pull that down, hold on to it below the straw. That way you don't. I'm just keep on pulling it all the way down. So it's not stuck right here. Or it should it? Yeah. You just have to apply there pressure. There we go. There you go. Don't. Push yet. Right there, there. Perfect. That's it. Then slide your plunger forward just a little bit of the, the AI gun. This, this, this on this end. Just till you see some semen come. Right there. That's good or more? Keep, keep going a little bit more. Did it move? Yep. All right. That's it. So now you're good to so the reason, shoot it the this reason, way like that. <laughs> in the paper towel. <laughs> the reason you want to just Push that plunger in slightly to where you see the semen move 
just to make sure that's one way you can double check make sure you got it loaded correctly and we're just going slowly like that that's right another select sire's heifer calf there we go that's it that's it all right then nine months later i have a calf that's right all right Herford. this is going that way <laughs> Have to get my first stab at AI and a cow. All right. So I took my the black glove off of my left hand because I was told sometimes it's easier to do what you got to do without it. So I'm just going to go with this sleeve. All right. I got to get in that zone. That zone? Yeah. But I need my gun, don't I? You know, it's kind of like those professional athletes. You know, some score a touchdown and they hand the ball to the ref and the others got to do a dance. So, I ain't like that first one, like you've been there before. Well, so I'm the black sheep in my family. I, <laughs> I can't do no sports. I can't dance. Yeah, but, I can't I mean, sing. act like you've been I, there before. I, I, <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm not the talented one in my family. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Now's your chance to go To up. prove. Yeah. All right. I feel her tonsils. So right there is the gun. Right there is the gun. Right there is the gun. I got the gun on my thumb. But that ought to be it right there, huh? Right there? Probably. Are you there? I feel the... I don't no longer feel the... I feel the gun. Put a little pressure on it and work. It's imagine you putting a hot dog on a stick in the dark. That was a good example, wasn't it? So I can feel my gun. I know. But I... There's a tighter hole. Can you squeeze it with this hand and it's like it's through the whole way. Now I can no longer feel my gun. Oh Mr. Russell, I found it. I found it. I found it's hard. I found it. Well, I don't feel my gun. I feel the I feel the cervix with my thumb. Yes. 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 Okay. And whenever you feel a gritty feeling, that's when you're like. That that's the gritty feeling I'm feeling with my hand. But I don't. But I don't feel my gun anymore oh right there i got the cervix in my hand and the gun in my fingers 
That's it? No, you gotta go. You gotta put the gun through it. Is she messing with me or is she no, telling? Oh. She done about all of them. <laughs> You got okay. No, I'm just happy I found the cervix. <laughs> and and you have brangus, and they typically have larger cervixes. So, so see, that was designed. That was yeah. intentional. Right. Sometimes they get really large. Okay. Is she supposed to be bleeding well, like now that? Her dad has some brangus that are really nice. Really nice. That was my second cow. I didn't get it, I didn't do it right, or it's, it's still new to me. So I thought it was really easy, but it's not. Um, so I'll get, to, I'll get to try again tomorrow. Um, once, twice, maybe the third time is a charm. What's more important, seeing you or fed the cow? Cow. Okay. Do we let her go forward and close it? Put her head through? No. No? Yeah, I feel like I have. I'm not, oh, there we go. This one seems easy. Tell me if I got it right. Yeah. I'm leave it right there. I did it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. First try. First try. I got it. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Woo! I'm still gonna need a lot more practice. Yeah. So I was telling my cousin, I just have 34. So I was telling my cousin last night that I might take some of my bull semen straws and come to his place and practice on his. Because they don't. They don't really do everything we're doing, so it's, I'd rather, right, and then when it's my registered, I might still pay someone to come help me do like half and half, because I don't want to miss that one. So, another buddy, he's in Stillwater, Oklahoma for a long cattle, Ty. I spoke to him Sunday, told him what I was doing. He was like, buddy, you almost got to do 100 cows before you figure out how to get it right. I was like, well. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. I got five of them, but I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Right. You about to let her out? <laughs> it looks like somebody's ready to go. Uh, Arkansas has been fun. I made some new friends, learned some new things, and now I can artificially inseminate my herd myself. I'll still work with the two techs that I currently work with, but depending on the timing, I may have to just do it myself. 
And with artificial insemination, I now know that I can take the genetics of my herd in, in the direction that I'd like and not just depend on the one bull that I have on the pasture, which is my bull, De Niro. So with that, thanks for watching. Please click like, please click subscribe. And remember, you don't just have to depend on your bull. You can always purchase semen, artificially inseminate, enhance your genetics. Thanks.